It's DJ Double right here, and today I've got none other than the Melody God himself. That's right. Cranium back in the building. I'm here. What's going on, man? Welcome, bro. Thanks for having me. This is like, what, the fourth time I think we're sitting down now? I think so. What, That's what good. are we going to talk about, bro? That's good. That mean I'm doing. That mean I'm doing good. You know what I mean? Yeah. You look healthy, bro. You look I like am. you've been living well. Yeah, I'm working. That's all that matters. You know what I'm saying? I've been working a lot. Um, Just, you know what I mean? That's just... just Sticking to the script of just making good music and staying in the conversation. So mm-hmm. I could come back the fourth time. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is what your second time back here this year? Yeah, this is my second time back here this year, I think. So you did so, yeah. the Ends Festival earlier Yes, the correct. Year. How was that? It was dope, man. Shell it. Like shell it, shell it. Like people was actually like I, I think I went viral of when I performed because I did some crazy things, but mm-hmm. you have to come to a cranium show to know what happened. So yeah. Next cranium. time you see cranium in the UK, make sure you yeah, pull up. That's it. The crazy yeah. show is a lit, bro. Is that yeah. the biggest show you've done in the UK? No, um, not really. I did Leeds Festival. Oh, okay, right. And I've done some other stuff, some major stuff. But I mean, Hens Festival is amazing, though. Yeah. I'm happy. To, happy. I was a part of it. Hopefully, I'm there next year again. How does it compare performing in the UK to the rest of the world? To be honest, it is like a comedian who goes on, on stage. He has his set preset. You know what I mean? So I feel like for me, it's like the energy is always up. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So. My set is like I know exactly what I'm gonna do, how I'm gonna do it. Yeah. But you don't know different crow, different vibe. So, but I try to keep the energy as much as possible and like stick to the script as much as possible. I just never get panic on stage. I just enjoy myself, and I feel like once you enjoy yourself, people will enjoy it. And Australia, New Zealand as well. Yes. Was it? So you just finished touring there. Was that a Cranium tour or was it festivals? It was a tour. It was a Cranium tour. Sick. Yeah. It was just me only. Um. Yeah. I just been on the road since February, man. To be honest with you, I've been on the road consistently since February. And um, I feel I'm blessed, man. You know what I mean? I've been in the game for like four years now, and like mm-hmm. every year I've been on tour so far. You know what I mean? So looking at your team. looking at your stats, yeah. Looking at yeah. your stats and numbers, when we were chatting, uh, it, was, it was like two years since we last sat down. Yeah. And I think you were getting like just under a million monthly listeners. Yeah. And now I checked yesterday; it's like one point eight. So the yeah. growth, the growth is there. Yeah, it's there, different. man. You know what I mean? And 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 for me, it's it's not an easy road. You know what I mean? I tell everybody all the time because I came through a different tunnel. I'm a dancehall artist mm. who hit from the states. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's it's very hard to like. Normally, the dancehall records that really get the buzz is always records that are on juggling, which is considered of more than one people on the rhythm. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. it's easier to promote, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. When you have multiple artists, if this artist have the big song on the rhythm, it helps your record get played. Yeah. But I always took it my route, where I don't care, I just drop singles and, and, and it takes a longer time to break. These yeah, records yeah, take six, seven, four, five, six, seven months to break, but I just feel like I make good records, man, and I feel like people are actually catching on to the fact that I make good music. Yeah. Well, that was the thing. You didn't really, at the beginning, you didn't really voice rhythms. I don't, it was I don't, like I you I say, I it was just singles. Yeah, I still don't. The, the, w- the funniest thing is like, it's like a friend will hit me up and be like, yo, I want a vice and a, and a, and a, and a, a juggling and I'll do it. Mm. But the thing what people feel to understand with me is like, I put music first. Right. So it doesn't matter how big of a producer you are and who you think he is. If I don't like the beat, I'm not going to record. And I feel like that's always been something that people try to fight me at first with it, but eventually just leave me be because at the end of the day, you're still not going to get me out. There's mm-hmm. nothing going to do to get me out. You know what I mean? Because I feel like we're in a generation now where once you make good music and good songs, you can't stop it. Yeah, you know, yeah, it's yeah. Gonna, you're going to slip through the crack and I always just find one that slipped through. Was there any instrumentals that you had that the producer wanted it to be a rhythm, but you were like, nah, 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 this is mine Yeah, now. of course, 100%. What singles? Um, I think Can't Believe was supposed to be a jungle, jung- jungle oh, okay. if I'm not bugging. Um, last Night was a juggling. A lot of people don't know that. It was actually, well, by, that, that w- by Way One By, it was a juggling. Yeah, what was the rhythm name? Um, it was, I don't remember, man. Um, because Popcorn did a track as well. Popcorn. No, that's no, that's last night. Sorry, that's that's last night. Last night was a juggling. Yeah, I was yeah. talking lifestyle. I want to say, by the way, oh, lifestyle, right? Sorry, yeah, yeah, sorry, yeah, yeah. yeah. That was supposed to be a juggling. I don't know what the rhythm is called, but um, yeah. And I've had other records where it was supposed to be juggling, I didn't. And mm-hmm. there's records that you get that don't, for example, Coffee Toast was sent to me first. Oh, okay. The beat, I just never liked the beat. You didn't like the beat? Nah. I couldn't find something on it. Right. You get what I mean? And yeah, that's yeah. what music is. You know what I mean? That's why I said you can you cannot be it's just what um what you think complement your voice and complement your vocal. If you can find it, somebody else will, you know what I mean? So, yeah. Do you regret yeah. turning the instrument? No, on? hell no. 
I guess had you taken it, it wouldn't been, have done what it's it done. done. Exactly, because I couldn't find a record on it that I like. And those, th- that's, that those type of stuff happens. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Looking at your career, I feel like at the start, Jamaica neglected you a little yeah. bit. And I feel partly because you were coming from New York mm. and you were attacking it from a different angle. Yeah. Also, you were signed to Atlantic. Yeah, yeah. Um, after. Way after. Well, yeah. So you kind of went the non-traditional way yes, into the dance scene. Yeah. And I feel like you were neglected by Jamaica. Mm-hmm. Have they opened up to you a yeah, bit 100%. more now? And I don't even feel like I was neglected. I, was, I feel like it was more like they don't understand what was going on. Right, okay. It was more like uh, they don't understand what was going on and... um. I wouldn't say neglected, honestly, because the 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 at the first when nobody snow came out, everybody was like, "That's the record," you know. What I mean? You mm-hmm. could you couldn't go around it, and then I came back again with "Buy Where You Want Buy." Yeah, yeah, but yeah. I feel like I'm the type of artist that can be controlled. Like you cannot tell me how to do my thing. I'm gonna do what I want to think. So I don't care what fans have to say because the average dancehall fan that's in Jamaica may not know a Cranium catalog. But right. come on, you know what I mean? The catalog is <laughs> I go everywhere in the world and sing my songs, and everybody know every record. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. it's like. It's a different pace from my pace. Remember, Jamaica is like records back to back. Me is yeah, yeah, yeah. me is more like yo, two song a year. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So I attack it from a different angle because I want full control of my music. And when you do something like that against a norm, people are always scared. Are are they just start saying things like, yo, you won't last or stuff like that, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But I just I always know I was talented. That's a, that's a sad thing that people didn't know. Like, I always believed in myself. I just knew it would have taken a longer time. When I started, I just knew that, yo, this is going to be a hard road. Are you willing to take this road? And I'm like, yeah, I'm willing to take this road. And I, <laughs> and I took it. And here I am today. I'm probably one of the most streamed dancer artists. One of yeah. 100%. I'm, I'm 100% in the top five. Yeah. yeah. So it is what it is. Definitely. You, you put a tweet out, which I want to ask you about. Yeah. And you said, whenever someone say you should be way bigger, it cuts. Yeah. Explain that to me. L- like, for example, like when people be like, yo, Cranium should be way bigger than what it is. I think so, 200%. I feel like at this point, I should be doing at least 10, 15,000 people easily. Mm-hmm. But uh, at the end of the day, I feel like I come through a different tunnel, man. I feel like I never get like, what is considered like, I never get like the full support of the 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 dance our community at first right yeah if you get what i mean yeah, yeah. you know when you come in the game and you have that wall <laughs> yeah, that yeah. never happened with me it's always well, that's what i meant when i said yeah. about jamaican neglect okay yeah, yeah. that's how I yeah thought. i never get that that i never get that that real um support from the beginning but it still boils down to like me just saying yo that's not what i'm here for type mm-hmm. of thing you know i wanted a career and i feel like i couldn't maintain being the artist that dropped 10 15 songs i feel like I wouldn't, I would have records, but I wouldn't have, I was the word I'm trying to find. I wouldn't have a whole soul name. I don't think I would have a, when you hear the word cranium, you can't think about, yo, this and he's done that and he's been on that. I feel like yeah. I would be carried away in a different, right, um, okay. you the, the, just the trauma, the, 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 um, there's too much things. It comes to too much things that I wasn't prepared mentally for at that time. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think that's what it was. The way I see your career, it's like a marathon rather than a sprint. Yes, yeah, since you know I mean, because yeah. every year you've been building, yeah. and I feel like every year you've had a record. Uh, not just, I mean, you you make a lot of music, but yeah. you've had hits. Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. Every year, that's you know the thing I mean? where people Song, feel that's songs that stick around, whereas yeah. a lot of dance music, it's like weird. you were saying, <laughs> is short lived. Yeah, it's funny because, like, honestly, like when I'm in Australia, I was I was with this guy and I was asking him about artists, and he was just talking about why certain artists don't come certain places. Like I've been to some serious places in this world representing dance I mean, so like a lot of artists will never go or never been yet. Mm. And um the guy was like, Yo, you're too humble man. Like I think I like, get too humble and I'm like, what do you mean? I said, no, honestly man, I feel like yo, there's certain things that you've done you need to talk more and I'm like, yo, it's so weird a lot of people say that to me. Cause if you have if you really have a conversation with the average person that doesn't go outside of just like the dance uh, that's poor and just yeah. think they be like, create a man, man, I'm good. It's like, okay, okay, whatever. But you'd be surprised, like, th- the amount of work I've put in for mm-hmm. dance hall and a whole. Like, when I came in the game, when nobody else came out, I was the only artist that had a record in dance hall and such major level for a long time. Mm-hmm. And I was the one that gets signed. You know what I mean? I was the one that doing the titles, the MTVs, the BTs. I was the one that was putting all in that work. You know what I mean? And I don't regret it. I feel like I was used as the um artist by the higher power for like like shine light you know what i mean right, and yeah. i feel like i did that a lot bro and i feel like sometimes 
it's overlooked and the type of things I do. But it boils down to us too. Because like there's so much things that I've done that I don't talk about. That I don't oh. care to talk about. You know what I mean? I trigger a lot of things, man. There's a lot of things that I triggered, hundred percent I know for a fact I triggered. Yeah. Different records from we can to can believe. Like those records are like records that touch different markets and you know, I like certain things. You were very good, or you are very good at bridging the gap yeah. between the dancehall yep. community and the mainstream. Yep. Stuff like the the remix, which I know wasn't official, but the Show Me yeah. remix with Nobody Has to Know, yeah. that circulated. Mm-hmm. Because that went out, your music, Spread suddenly more. you got a dancehall tune that's getting played in R&B sets. Yes, 100%. And then people, what's this? And then they're yeah. discovering more. The, mu- the music you've made with Major Lazer yes. has been festival music, yeah, I've but b- it's played in a dancehall... So much, thing. bro. I was on Baby Rex's album. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Baby Rex is huge. Yeah, yeah. And there's like stuff like that. And like, um, there's certain, t- it's certain little things. Even when I did, I um, can't believe it. Me, Ty, and, and, and I was one that connected the dance world with the Afrobeat world, with yeah. the hip hop world. Because I took Can't Believe and I went for Ty and I went for Whiskey mm-hmm. and I went dance all. So when it dropped, it was fresh to everybody, but it was, it was like, what? What is this? Yeah. So everybody was like, at first DJ was knew what to do with it. Like, mm, this is weird. They don't. They honestly didn't know what to do with it. Do you feel like it was a bit ahead of its time, maybe? Yeah, and that's what the record did. What they did, the record like opened up. The, like that record was a big record, bro. Like yeah. it's, it's like one of the records for me, especially through Europe. That's uh-huh. like one of the biggest records because I've always had the vision and the ears. Plus management, of course, hundred percent. We always see things ahead of time. Mm-hmm. So now I feel proud. When I see like the whole Afrobeat movement is moving and a man would call my phone like, yo, Korean wanting this show because they know how big of an effect that record is. And then that record replugged like the nobody else now, replugged the last night, replugged the, the weekend, replugged the, the stamina. Yeah. So, yeah, 100%. I've done some bread, I've done some things. And I'm like, you know what, when I'm older, I'll just like do a whole little documentary like the type of stuff that I've actually contributed to. The it's Cranium man. Greatest yeah, Hits album is going to sound mad. And, <laughs> it's, and it's not only that, though. And there's certain things that I've done behind the scenes mm-hmm. that I never spoke about. Like connect that person with that person, link that person with that person. I made that happen with that person that I don't talk about. That's a lot of stuff, bro. A&R in as well. A lot of stuff, bro. Huh. I swear. You, you made a song this year, which when I heard it for the first time, I was really surprised, but in a good way. And yeah. It was a record with Idris Elba. Yes. Stand By Me. Yeah. I never heard you on a one drop before. Yeah. You know what's crazy? I just put, book, I just did a record, and Gucci Man is actually on a reggae really. I won't play it for you before I leave. Okay. He's singing a reggae record. Yeah. And I'm on the hook singing. So it's nice. like a flip. It's so crazy. He's Gucci Man like a real one drop reggae. Yeah. Sick. Sick. How, so what? So tell me about that. How did that? No, j- they, they linked me and it was like, yo, we have this Gucci Man record. What the case maybe? I was like, okay, cool. Selling cross, and they had that previous hook. I didn't like the hook at all. Yeah. And then I hear the record. I'm like, yo, this is sick. And so that was a reggae song that reggae, yeah. and I was like, "Yo, hear what? I'm okay. Let me see what I could do with the hook." And it took me at least five hours to come up with the hook. Yeah, because I was trying to make it like not corny and not over the top. Mm. So I had to put the right amount of soup and it. You know, I mix the soup properly. And <laughs> it, it's, it's it's so crazy how he's rapping. I'm talking about one drop, bro. I'm yeah. not talking about. Dance all drums are like I'm well, talking about real reggae. Skia. <laughs> it's crazy. I, I haven't heard it, so I can't really comment, but do you think like the reggae world is gonna take to the song? I feel like um anything no ha- can happen in music. Um everything can work depends on how you promote a record. Mm-hmm. There's certain songs that we hear that we think we like and we don't like it. But we play here it so much to the point that we like it. You know yeah, what I mean? And yeah, I feel yeah. like it's one of them records when you hear it, I feel like you're like, yo, this is different. It's a vibe. And people like different now. It's a new millennium, and it's out, you know what I mean? 2020 is here, man, basically. Mm-hmm. So it's like, yo, like anything goes, bro. Anything goes at this point. It's just good music, and that's something I stand for. I, I rather don't drop a record than drop something that's mediocre. I can't do it. I yeah. don't have it in me. I cannot do it. I cannot. Like people be like, yo, you need to dumb it down. And it's so weird. It's funny. I've dumbed down records before that work. Because like last night, I think I dumb it down. When I went last night, one piece or something, I dumb it down. It's like How do you mean dumb it down? So did you have like a more complex hook yes. and then you just refined it? To yeah, I just feel like there is records where it's too, I wouldn't say too good, but it's like it's, it's, too, it's, it's, it's too much, it's too heavy. Right. Like, for example, like one of the greatest songs for me that I have ever done is No Other. I feel like that's like the top notch in my catalog of records that I've ever written. I'm like, yo, this is it. Mm-hmm. And it worked for my fans. But it never spread across. Right. If you're not a Cranium fan, you probably don't know the record. 
or if you are a Korean fan, that's your favorite record. It's yeah, like yeah, one yeah. of those songs because it's so well put together. So I have that habit of like, it's like a J. Cole and a, um, and a, um, I would say J. Cole, Wally. Right. You hear his records and his album, you'll be like, yo, this is amazing. But you don't hear it in the clubs, you don't hear it anywhere else because mm-hmm. they're so amazing. And I feel like a lot of artists have that problem. And some artists just naturally know how to make what's going on now and don't care. But if you do care, because I remember first, I'm a musician first. Mm-hmm. So it's bigger than just, you know, I see something I love. I'm not saying that most guys don't love it, they do love it. But I feel like with me, I'm like a real singer, singer. Yeah. So I take more like keys and harmonies and hooks and verses so it's, it's, it get more compli- complex you know i was really surprised that record didn't take off more with Which the one? wayne wonder sample that's no what wonder. i'm saying yeah like because it had the wayne wonder sample yeah. so there was the familiarity it's so amazing bro diwali rhythm seems to have been really yes. popular over yeah. like the last yes. 18 months yes. as well with the yes. amount of different samples yes. especially there's a couple of uk tunes that yeah. sampled diwali rhythm 100%. recently so like I was really surprised, man, that it didn't take it's off. It's an amazing record. You love that song? A great song. Amazing it's not my record. favorite Cranium song. Yeah, yeah, I know. But it is a great it's record. It's amazing, bro. Like, it's well written. I love that song. Let's talk about Confessions. Yeah. Track number one on the brand new album. Yeah. I've got a fucking problem. Yeah. When I was listening to it, the first time I listened to it, I kind of didn't really take on mm-hmm. what the song was saying. Yeah. It was only the second time I listened to it, I thought, really, you're talking about, like, having a sex addiction? Yeah. Here? So is this... This is something I've never met anyone that's actually said they have a sex addiction. Yeah, I have a sex addiction. But is this like a real thing or is it just 100%. like that's being a guy? Because no. as a guy, we just want to nut everywhere. Do you know what I mean? No, I feel like I have a sex problem. I feel like I have a habit. That's why I was like, I have a fucking problem. Yeah. Because like, I feel like every night before I go to bed is like something that's always, I'm like, damn, I should just fuck to sleep. Like, mm. I just, I'm tired, but I just want to nut. <laughs> so I feel like when I said, I've got a fucking problem, the next line was, only when I fuck, I can fucking solve them. I was like, yo, that's dope. This is so true. Yeah. That's the only way I could solve this problem is if I'm having sex. So that's when I made that record. And people take on to it like, yo, this guy is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I bet sick. the DMs have been going yeah. mad since Even someone the Yeah, even the second tra- verse. That so many girls in so many places. When I'm traveling. So many different races of girls. I know for a fact I got a double in. And I may soon come down one day. But for no more I go on, meet and beat same way. And it's so true. I may calm down one day, but for now I'm just meeting and beating. And, and, and it's the best song to open the album with. Yes. Yeah. Straight to the point. <laughs> <laughs> Money in the Bank was a great record. Thank you so much, man. Surprising collaboration, because mm-hmm. you've got AJ Tracy on Yeah, there. my brother. If, if someone had said, right, there's going to be UK artists on there, I would have been like, could be Kojo funds. Mm-hmm. Western would have made sense my to me. I love Western. Maybe even Styler G yeah. with what he's been doing this year. Yeah. And then when I saw it as AJ Tracy, like I was surprised. Yeah, I have a song with him dropping tomorrow too. With AJ? Yes. Another one. Uh, next one so is that tomorrow. AJ single. It's um Nudge. Hmm? Nudge, the producer. Right, okay. Yeah, Nudge. So it's a producer yeah. single That's featuring Cranium and AJ. So sick, bro. Amazing. It's dope. <laughs> Talk to me about this one though. So first of all, how did you link up with AJ? So I did the record in the city. In New York, it was 6 o'clock in the morning, 6 right. a.m. in the morning. It was the end of the album, and I was like, yo. I sent it to my manager, and he's like, yo, we should put AJ Tracy on it. I'm like, yo. Fire. Let's do it. So I, I flew to 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 I flew to London. I hit him up. I was like, yo, let's do this record, whatever. Yeah. And he pulled up, man. So you brought the record over yourself man, to work on it. Was co- it a studio session together? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He came and checked me and everything. What he did on there is not something I've ever heard him Everybody do Everybody keeps before. saying that, yeah. So it's like... Did you give him a lot of direction as Not to what you wanted? No. Or? Uh, it's so weird. I was eating when he was recording. Right. I was in the studio eating grapes. Eating grapes. <laughs> and he just went in the booth and he just starts flowing. I'm like, yo, this guy is serious. So he came up with that I himself. Swear. He just went in the booth that and singing. Style. Yep. Incredible. Because it's a great Sick. song. And like I say, I've never, ever heard him like that. Yeah. It's a good record. The hook, man. She got money in the band. It's so, it's, it's, it's so woman powering, you know. Mm-hmm. Like, and women go through that all the time. So I wanted to do something that's connected with the woman. I was like, good girl gone, bad type of vibe. Okay, cool. Yeah. She got money in the bank. Not more thing left in her tank. You know, she ain't taking no chances because niggas ain't shit. Mm. And it worked. I saw the track. <laughs> I saw the track made it onto the GTA yes, 5 GTA. soundtrack. Yes, GTA. I feel so good, man. It's my There's first a lot one. of people this week. I mean, music has been dropping on there. It made me think, do you feel like streaming platforms and stuff like gaming mm. and online all these online platforms do you think they're more important for breaking new music course, now than radio 100% mm. because like that's big man 
how many people in the world play that game? Yeah. And how much people are gonna hear the record and just go and say, yo, what is this? This is dope. Let's listen to this. You know what I mean? And it just give it a foot. And remember, numbers equal money. Yeah. You know what I mean? And that means if I can if 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 I can sell a record to a station like, yo, listen, this has this much views in this this short period of time. It has to be something special about the record. They were gonna test it, you know what I mean? So it's uh, it's a boil. I feel like yo, I feel like no, honestly, man, for some weird reason. I feel like no, I'm getting the true blessings that I deserve. Like no, I start feeling it. Like I start walking around. Like yeah, I'm start feeling. It. Like before, I was like, like I was happy, but I was still like, damn, like I'm good, man. Like why y'all trying to go around me? Like before, I was like, it's like happy and sad type of thing. Like yeah, like emotions play. Like when I hear certain records, I'm like, damn, like come on, bro. Like this is not like this. Like mm-hmm. you know what I mean? But then I feel like no, everybody's like opening their eyes, like. No, this kid is serious. Like, he's dope. You know what I mean? And I feel like some people, it happens. Some people take five years to break. Some people take six years to break. Some people take seven years to break. Some people be in the game for like five, six years before. Some take ten. Ten. For people actually be like, yo, this is the guy. You know what I mean? And I feel like, no, with these records, people is like, yo, he's, he might be the one. You know, yeah. which I am the man. But yeah. That he's yeah. the one. <laughs> the album's solid, man. Like, it's it a you, great man. listen all the way through. You have a favorite song on your album? Do you have a favorite? I was about to ask you the same thing. I think my favorite. Even though it's an older track and it was put out as a single first and yeah. it was just the start yeah. with Alkaline. Yes, you love that. I heard you singing that song earlier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, so yeah I did. It's one of the ones. I did, I did. It's, uh, it, it sticks in my head the whole yeah. time and it's always been. Yeah. That's that's definitely my okay. favorite from there. Yeah. Um, What's your favorite? Um, That's like you're asking me which one of my kids I love the most. But to be honest with you, musically, okay. Musically, when we talk about production, written, well written, complexion is in a league by its own. Yeah. Um, Settle Down is special to me because I literally spoke to my mother on the phone and recorded her and then made the record mm-hmm. from scratch in like 10 minutes. I recorded that song in 10 minutes off the top okay. of my head. Um, and then Hotel with me, Ty Dolla Sign and Burner Boy because the hook is amazing. Yeah. So I fucked her in the hotel, tell her how don't tell, throw a whole swell. She found out I'm fucking a friend, friend, a friend, friend, and the other friend, friend. It's some crazy <laughs> shit. So <laughs> like was, the word play, was a line I was yeah, ask yeah. You the word play well, sick, bro. The word play that is sick and in charge, hundred percent. Mm. And that's it for me. Yeah. yeah. So let's uh, let's talk about. So uh, let me go through this. So my favorite one, mm. just the style. Yeah. Like you've done a lot of features in the mm. past. You've done a lot of big names. Is Alkaline the most significant one? Because for me, he feels like very elusive character mm. he's not really out there on social media mm. you don't really see him talking in public much and yeah. he doesn't he, he doesn't seem to do many features does that make sense so like for you was it a moment getting a record secured with alkaline um am i the first guy did a, did a i don't feature? think you're the first he's definitely done features but no the dancehall artist i'm trying to think if i was the first to do a dancehall feature with him I don't You're testing me now. I don't think I've ever, I don't think I ever seen him. I don't think ever. I don't, I don't think he ever done a dance out feature. I don't think so. But even if so, um, yo, it, 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 listen, people have the wrong um idea of people, man. I feel like Alkaline is he's, he's, he has a he has a he's a he's a character. Like mm-hmm. he has his thing set the way he has his thing set, and there's nobody can take that from him. You know what I mean? And um, people have the wrong idea. of 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 him i think he's amazing i think he's one of the best writers out right now mm-hmm. i think alkaline um find what a star is truly like because the man is a star and on top of that i feel like he's the coolest kid man if you get to know him he's cool i don't know him like that like we're friends i'm not gonna sit down like we're friends we're not friends like that but what i can do what i do say is you know i hit him up for a feature i hit him direct i was like yo i have this record i want you on and yeah. it's like, yo, send it cover my singer. Let me hear it. And and, and that's that's exactly what happened. And we linked up in Miami, we shot the video and everything. So sometimes people have the wrong what you call it? The impression. wrong impression on somebody. Because when I reached out to him, it was cool. It was like, yo, let me hear the record. If I like it, let's let's do it. Mm-hmm. And it's just like somebody reached out to me if you want to do the record. And this is how music's supposed to be. And and I don't understand how people just you have some people think they're bigger than some people and they don't do the records. Yeah. This is stupid. This is the stupidest thing you can do. Like on my album, I have PJ. Nobody know who PJ is. Everybody keep asking me, who is this girl? Yeah. She's a writer. 
we went to the studio i was doing this, this the, the song she was in the session she's hosting the hook we was trying to get someone to do the hook i was like no why they want to no, keep her on the hook yeah she's so amazing but a lot of artists is not like that you know what i mean so to all artists that is in the game you have to understand that nobody knew who the singer was when shaggy went hmm. it wasn't me but the guy vice is just so amazing on the record and he coming as he coming hey now you you what are you gonna do yeah it's an amazing record you keep the song you get where i'm coming from and that's what i feel like music needs to be if a man hit you for a record you listen to the record if you don't like the record you don't like the record if you like the record you do the record i don't care how big or smaller artist is or producer is i'm gonna revise it if i like it mm -hmm. i've turned on a listen i've swear to you i won't i won't say who i've turned on a list feature you can say who if you like yeah no, what i'm saying i've turned <laughs> on I'm, I, i've turned on no honestly i've got records from a list artists who sent me a record before i listened to the record i'm like yo i'm not doing this management but like you should do it no i'm not doing this i don't think i can compliment this record and i pass it on that's just me it's about the music it's just about the music yeah. and maybe that is my downfall but i don't know but i cannot do it like I say, bro, it's about the marathon, isn't it? And you're building things your way. Yeah. If you were to go and do that, you might bust real quick off of that. Yeah. But it might end as quickly as it comes. Do Thank you, know you very mean? much. So at least I care, you're mate. building it the way. And right. also, I just looked it up. I'm cheating a bit. But yeah, Alkali's done a record with Sean Paul. Yeah. So Gallus Pro, which sure. I think was earlier this year. Yeah. No, last year or something like that. Yeah. But anyway, yeah, just perfect. to answer that question. Okay, so that's good. There, there may be more. Big up Shanda Paul. Yes. Yeah. Hotel. Yeah. That was originally going to be the name of the album, right? That was, the, we had a tour name, name um, Hotel, because the album was supposed to have been come out. Mm -hmm. But you know, our clearance, politics, label schedules, label and, <laughs> and all that extra thing. So we pushed it back. And that's how um, the song didn't make it as a single, mm -hmm. official single. But it's doing good now. It's added to a couple of playlists as well. So it's moving. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's a great record, man. Thank Definitely. you, man. Um, why, where did the title name Midnight Sparks come from? Okay, so we, 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 we was going through names and stuff. And I'm like, yo, at the end of the day, this is the type of album where a girl come home. I mean, a girl come from a party and you're driving home and you want to play her some records. You want to send her a signal. You fling in the album and start playing, she get the point, 100%. Uh, by the time you reach the third third song, she's going to be like, okay, <laughs> this motherfucker is up to something. After the first song, she's yeah, going to be like, what's up, like, bro? Like, I've got a fucking problem. She'll be like, you're trying to tell I'm me something, you know, you know what I mean? It's so midnight. The it's midnight. So, <laughs> you know what I mean? Most people get the sparks. After liquor music, you get the sparks. Yeah. Right? And 90% of the time, if you're going to gonna have fun, it's always after party. 90% mm -hmm. of the time it's like you go out and be like yo tonight I'm gonna get fucked up yeah. yeah and then you miss meet a girl and you do what you do so I feel like Midnight Spark was just perfect for me yeah yeah. I like that and if it's not her it could be a friend or the friend anything the, the friend friend the friend friend, 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 friend I, I don't know who I sing that you know, you know, the friend <laughs> friend the friend friend and the other friend friend I don't know what I was thinking bro <laughs> but putting it, it out there like that because now they all know as well yeah facts so the Midnight Sparks tour is just about to kick off, European e leg? Yeah, the European leg. I started off in Australia now, Europe. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Why, when you do the tours, I've noticed you've done this before. When you do the tours, there doesn't seem to be a London date. No. But then there's always a London date, like, slightly after. Yeah. Why do you structure it that way? I don't know. It's not me. I don't call that right, shit. Right, okay. Yeah, it's it's the booking agents, management. Yeah, but, um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. It's It's... I don't know, it's weird. Because London's your biggest market. Yeah. On on, well, I was looking through the Spotify analytics, and mm -hmm. London is the biggest market. I think Birmingham's the fifth biggest. Yeah. So you've got two major cities yeah, in the country yeah, yeah. that you can I don't uh, know. put on the tour. I don't know. But you've got the London tour, the London date, sorry, it's 27th March 27th. of March, isn't yes. it? Yes, March 27th. Come and see me live. I think we're going to add it next night. We have to add it next night. Uh, maybe three nights. Who knows? But yeah. 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 Maybe one in Birmingham as well. Yeah. Do you think the dancehall fans in the UK show love like the way the European fans do? To me, I just do music on the whole. Is, well, I mean, in your experience. So you um, show yeah, I, I think I get enough love. You know what I mean? Yo, I don't know where to place me, man. I don't know what people place me as. Do they place me as like a... Um, I am a dancehall artist, but am I urban? Am I mainstream? I don't know. 
Mm-hmm. So it's like hard to tell. But in my crowd, it's like always like a mixed crowd. Like yeah, it's yeah, always yeah. mixed. Yeah, you know, I love that. So I'll be on stage and I'm like, yo, who's here? You're like, you know, and you look in the crowd, I'm like, okay, turn the lights on, sorry, turn the lights on. It's like so much mixed culture, people. It's mm-hmm. like, damn, this is dope. I love my crowd because it's so amazing. Yeah. Like from where I'm standing from, I'm like, yo, this is this is dope. But that's what I'm saying earlier about you, how your music bridges the gap. Because I can play it in, if I'm playing somewhere where it's just dancehall, it works. Yeah. Even if I'm playing an Afrobeat set, it works, it works with that crowd. If I'm playing like a it's more commercial club, it, still it works there. It they does. know everything. So like, yeah, yeah it's get crazy. that with the family. Yeah. Man. You've nailed it. Yeah, way, respect, definitely. man. It's true, man. Because I'd be like, in Africa, I have a whole different set. Mm-hmm. <laughs> in yeah, Europe, I, I have imagine, a whole yeah. different set. And then in like in New York, it's a whole different set. And then like when I'm in my own crowd, I could sing like, by way or um, by justice style, um, history, you know, I go stamina. But here I will go like the weekend, the nobody have to know. Mm-hmm. The, 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 the capital, of course, the stamina, the between us, the no others. You know what I mean? In Africa, it's like a whole different thing. You know, I have the record with Boom, with yeah, me, yeah. Miss, like 140 million streams. Then we can go like um, um, the Kiss Daniel record, Shorty. Mm-hmm. Like there's so much, it's so weird on my cat. Like say, like each place I go, I like sit. I'm like go to the cat. Like okay, put this over here, pull <laughs> this over here, I right, put this over there. So put, you know what I mean. Each place have different. Like it's so weird in Canada. Like between us is so huge, and here is like okay. You know what I mean. Crazy. Then then you go further out in Europe. Like I go in Europe and I'm like between us. I said no, stamina. Yes, that, that's a big song here. It's so weird. Wow. And then I be like. All right, Israel, Sidon is the biggest song in Israel. Like, the biggest Ooh, song yeah. for me is, in, is, is Sidon. So it's like different markets, different records. Like, I love it. Yeah. <laughs> I love well, it, It's man. good that you can pinpoint that. And the yeah. versatility is key. Yeah, it's sure. crazy. Yeah, yeah. How are you going to level up in 2020? Like, do you have any goals? No, I have no goals, man. I feel like, you yeah, the thing with me. As far as goal is concerned, I feel like everybody have their destiny and everybody have their part already written. Already cut you know what i mean so for me i feel like i just do everything to the best of my ability and whatever i'm supposed to reap from it i will get mm-hmm. so if i give my heart whatever i get in the hand i'm happy with it because yeah. i know i give my heart so uh, so why have why have a goal you know what i mean you just 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 live and just do things to the best don't shout and then do anything just do it good and then whatever happens happens yeah incredible man well listen i'm yeah. definitely coming to the show March 27th. Respect, bro. Lafayette is the... Is it Lafayette? Isn't it? Lafayette. Make sure you pull up. So that's it. Definitely yeah. pull up. If you're a Cranium fan, my bro. Thank you so much, man. It's been a pleasure. DJ Double. DJ Double here Tell with like Cranium. Yeah. Body look good. I love it when I'm inside, you. Yeah. And my girl me no bully, but I'm in charge, yeah, yeah. As long as I'm inside you, you can't run when double come because he's in charge. Yeah. Big up yourself. Boom. I was going to sing along, bro, but I'm not going to do that to them. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, man.